What is the law when it comes to the Cody Roberts case? The man who ignited a firestorm of controversy around the world? You, know, you see, Wyoming has a law to justify secrecy, if you will, about a wolf's alleged torture, but that 12-year-old law may not apply in this case. Officials reportedly tried to use it to keep Roberts' identity and actions quiet, but you see, that didn't work. Besides, the law is meant to protect the identity of legal wolf hunters. And there's a lot of debate right now when it comes to that law and Cody Roberts, who broke the law by taking possession of the wolf who was still alive at the time. Now, we now know originally the Wyoming Game and Fish released a statement that had no name, no location, no date, but it did cite two state statues. And in the end, that any information regarding wolves is not a public record. But here's the thing. That statute only applies once again to legally killed wolves. 85% of Montana being a predator zone, including the area where Cody Roberts committed the crime. If he had legally killed the wolf, he, in the eyes of the state of Wyoming, would reportedly not have broken the law. But apparently it's extremely difficult to illegally kill a wolf in Wyoming's predator zone. Why? No seasons, no license requirements, no restrictions. Even how Roberts ran over the wolf with his snowmobile is totally legal. Thing is, the animal has to be killed or left injured in the wild. Now, according to Animal Wellness Action, there is no state exemption for wolves that protects Roberts from facing felony animal cruelty. Meantime, local prosecutors have questions about whether the state's animal cruelty provisions would apply to Roberts' actions. And they're citing the exemptions in the law for predatory animals, suggesting laws only apply to domestic animals like dogs and cats. So what does the Sublet County attorney have to say? Well, he told wildlife.com that the animal cruelty statutes are very unclear all the way across. It does appear that they might apply, apply his words, not mine. But if there are additional charges, it's not only in his hands, but also up to the Sublet County Sheriff. Meantime, the Wyoming Speaker of the House, Albert Summers, who represents the area where the crime took place, told wildlife.com that he's essentially not a big fan of knee-jerk legislative reactions. And then he said, I've learned in my career in the legislature that every time you try to legislate on an isolated issue, you end up making too big of a loop and catching the hind leg of the cow instead of the calf. You've got to be careful, whatever law you change, that you understand the implications, but certainly the state will take a look. That's what he said. Well, what Cody Roberts did, Summer said, was wrong, inhumane, dumb, bad judgment, his words, saying that he hopes Roberts learns from his mistakes and that what he did is not acceptable. Having said that, Cody Roberts is a decent guy, Summers went on to say. I've known him his whole life. Also, a group of organizations with ties to Wyoming and the Northern Rockies are appealing to the county attorney's office seeking animal cruelty charges. This story is not going away anytime soon.